three, two, one, do it. Welcome back. Many folks will spend time this weekend probably carving pumpkins. And today we're going to show you how to do it chemical, Kim style. Now, this is one you are not going to want to try at home. Just enjoy watching it here with us this morning. Exactly. Why, Kim? Well, this is a <coughs> chemistry lesson that we're oh, doing Oh, good. Today. Okay. And we're using a chemical that, of course, kids cannot get their hands on. It's called calcium carbide. And it was a chemical that was used quite quite a bit in the early 1900s a uh, minor lights would use miners would use them for their headlights yes and it is a chemical that you make in the laboratory and just so viewers can see how this works okay it's a powdered chemical yep and kind of gray it's a color. combination of calcium and carbon yeah and just to show you how this reaction works it's called a double replacement reaction so that's your chemistry okay. lesson yes and i'm going to add bubble solution because when i produce gases i like to trap them you know yes, the gases yes, just yes. want to escape so let's just hold on to them. So I'm going to trap them in this bubble solution, and you're going to see when I add Ooh. water, mm -hmm. this does produce a gas, and that gas is acetylene gas. And not only did the miners use them, but we actually used to use them before we used electrical headlights in cars. Oh, very interesting. And so see how that acetylene gas, it's like I'm burning bubbles, you know. But that is acetylene gas that's getting produced when calcium carbide reacts with water. Yes. And so when in the headlights of cars, it would just drip on, the water would just drip the, right there. Yeah. And it would be a really good reaction for keeping your light, you know, your headlight lit. Can so, I just say I'm laughing silently about you saying that you practiced all this in your dining room last oh night. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that was so fun, you know. That is, well, I have to carve pumpkins and everyone, you know, how do you carve pumpkins at home? But when you're chemical, you know, use some chemicals, right? Okay, so all right. We're going to clear this out of the way. Okay. And we are going to have some fun. Catherine, I'm going to have you put these on. Because, Just I, because I need that? Well, you know, this is for what about beginning the rest of level the people chemistry. In the, you just want me to look foolish. <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. Now, of course, I pre carve these pumpkins. Uh, yes. But, um, I'm, I have the calcium carbide in here. Yes. And you're going to help me out with this. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is light <laughs> this away from the okay. pumpkin. Okay. I am terrified. And when I give you the cue, you're going to put it right here to I the, see at the yep. pumpkin. She's, okay. okay, so the so. pumpkin has the face already carved in it, but the pieces are not pulled out. Okay, ready? Put it in. Three, two, one. There was a little bit of blowback. Yeah, did you did you feel yeah, that? Did, did you feel I'm that? Terrified. That again, you know, this reaction now that's taking place after the double replacement reaction yes. is a combustion reaction because acetylene gas. It three, smells wait, like wait, oh two gall. Three, two, one, do it. Oh, oh poor okay, little well, guy. Let's try this one. Let's, yes. let's go hardcore here. You gotta okay. go hardcore. Hardcore. So acetylene gas with water yes. produces our, the set not with water, but with the um, ignition igniting it with oxygen yes. is producing the carbon dioxide and water. But okay. wait. Three, two, one. You carve pumpkins. It smells. Yeah, you can smell that. That's like, the what, Oh, that's yeah. the game. Yep. So Pew. it's a really fun chemistry lesson <laughs> on doing two <laughs> different reactions, but of course, that is how chemists carve their pumpkins. Again, you can't get the chemicals, so we don't even have to worry about. Not at all. Why did you have me wear these? Was it really loud? 